In the realm of neuroscience and anatomy, two terms frequently arise, ipsilateral and contralateral. Knowing the distinction between these concepts is important in understanding how the brain and body interact. Hi, I'm Dr. Vanessa, and this is my channel, Learning Biology with Dr. Vanessa. Before we start today's video, I want to take a minute and ask for your support. If you are finding value in these easy to understand biological videos and want to ensure that they keep coming your way, I encourage you to become a part of our community by hitting that subscribe button. Your support fuels this channel's mission to make biological concepts engaging and easy to understand. Thank you for being a crucial part of our scientific journey together. Today, we're going to talk about the difference between ipsilateral and contralateral. Ipsilateral refers to things on the same side of the body or the brain. On the other hand, contralateral refers to things on opposite sides. When talking about the same or opposite sides like we're doing with ipsilateral and contralateral, we refer to the body as cut in half directly through the midline as you see here. So we're referring to things being on the same side of the body, either the right or the left, or on opposite sides of the body, with the body cut through the midline. These terms are primarily used when we're referring to the brain and how the brain interacts with the body. And this is because some nerves can come from the left side of the brain and go into the left side of the body, but sometimes those nerves go into, come from the left side of the body and go into the right side of the body and vice versa. And so they can sometimes have effects on opposite sides of the body or same side of the body. So for instance, if a sensation originates from the right side of the body and then travels to the right side of the brain, it is deemed ipsilateral. But if the sensation comes from the right side of the body and transmits to the left side of the brain, then it's considered contralateral. So if we are staying on the same side, it's referred to as ipsilateral. If it's crossing over, it's contralateral. And we can also see this in cases of when there's a stroke. There could be a stroke in a particular portion of the brain. Let's say the stroke is on the left side. If the symptoms are also on the left side of the body, then it's ipsilateral. But if the symptoms are on the right side of the body and the stroke originated in the left side of the brain, then that is going to be considered contralateral because the symptoms are showing on the opposite side. Sometimes we can also talk about these uh, with muscle movements too. If we're moving the muscles on one side of the body, that's an ipsilateral movement. If we're moving muscles on opposite sides of the body, that would be contralateral. And there's a lot of instances where, again, the crossover is occurring from the brain to the body or from the body coming back to the brain. So sometimes it just stays on that one side of the midline and it's considered ipsilateral, but if there is a crossing over to the other side of the midline, then it's referred to as contralateral. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope that it helped you understand the difference between ipsilateral and contralateral. If you still have a question, make sure to put it in the comments below. And if you have an idea for another video, or if there's something you're still struggling with as far as anatomical terminology or anything else in anatomy and physiology, make sure that you put that in the comments below also. Thank you.